Hello, dear students. I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today, in this video, we'll share or discuss about new pattern of question for class nine and one case study question. We will discuss now for new pattern examination 2020-21. The question paper contains two parts, A and B. Both part A and B have internal choices. In part A, there will be again two sections, one and two. One section, section one contains 16 questions of one mark. And there will be five options will be there. Section two contains four questions which are case study. That means which needs your thinking. Each case study has five case based subparts and examiner has to attempt any four out of five subparts. So I'm not going for your question part B. I am doing your, I am solving case study sample question today. So I repeat again, case study based questions are compulsory. You have to attempt four subparts from each question. There will be four questions of uh, case study questions and each question have four parts, each is having one mark. So this is a question, though the font is very small, read it. I'm reading loudly for you. Mathematics teacher of a school took her nine standard students to show red fold. It was a part of their educational trip. The teacher had interest in history as well. She narrated the fact of red fold to the students. Then the teacher said, in this monument, one can find the combination of the solid figures. There are two pillars which are cylindrical in shape, two domes at the corners which are hemispherical, seven smaller domes at the center. Flag hoisting ceremony on Independence Day takes place near the domes. Now, based on this information, you have to answer some questions. Question part one. Part one is how much cloth material will be required to cover two big domes, each of radius 2.5 meter. So the options are 75 meters square, 78.57 meters square, 87.47 meters square, and 25.8 meters square. And it is instructed to take the pi as 22 by seven. Coming to second part, write the formula to find the volume of a cylindrical pillar. Pi r square is pi r l, pi r l plus r, and two pi r. This, so this is memory based question. If you have remembered, you can tick mark. Part C, find the lateral surface area of two pillars of height of pillar seven meter and radius of the base is 1.4 meter. 112.3 centimeters square, 123.2 meters square, 90 meters square, and 3.5.2 centimeters square. Part B, how much is the volume of the hemisphere if the radius of the base is 3.5 meter, 85.9, 80, 98 meter cube, and your 89.83 meter cube. And last part is your, what is the ratio of the volume of two hemispheres of radius one centimeter is to the volume of a sphere of radius two centimeter. One is to one, one is to eight, eight is to one, and one is to 60. So let us go one by one. If you needed, you can read the questions again, but I think it is not needed because in this questions, subparts, everything is given. First is your question number one. I'm going for part A. How much cloth is required to cover the big dooms? With the two dooms, dooms, you can observe that it is mentioned is hemispherical. So read the question very carefully. You will find so many things. Radius is 2.5 and you have to find how much cloth. For cloth, we need your lateral surface area. So it is about hemisphere and 
you are getting lateral surface area. So lateral surface area of hemisphere is equal to you know 2 pi r square. Then how many hemisphere are there? Too big. So I will multiply. So 2 LSA is equal to 2 into 2 that will be 4 pi r square. What is r here? r is equal to your 2.5. So you can calculate now. So I'll write 4 into pi is given that you will take 22 by 7 and r square is 2.5 whole square or 2.5 multiplies 2.5. So what you are getting? You are getting your 4 into 22 by 7 multiplies 6.25. 2.5 multiplies 2.5 gives you 625. Now how I am calculating? You multiply the 4 with 6.25, you will get 25. Then 22 by 7, make into, divide it, and you get 3.143. If, if you not, don't like to divide, just remember 22 by 7 as 3.143. Then you multiply, 25 multiplies your 3.143. I multiply, you also multiply. 5378. So 78.57. So where is the answer? 75.87. So this is the answer. So 78.57 meter square. So your A is the uh, second, two is the answer. So I have followed question part A. So part A answer is your 78 point this. Now I'll come to question number B. Write the formula for volume of the cylindrical pillar. So this is very easy. What is the formula? Pi r square h. So you should remember all the formula pi r square h. This is the volume of the cylindrical pillar. Then coming to C, find the lateral surface area of two pillars. Lateral surface area of two pillars. So pillar means this is the pillars. They are cylindrical in shape. So the question is about cylinder. Height is 7 meter and radius is 1.4 meter. So we'll get lateral surface area. of your cylinder, what is the formula? It will be 2 pi rh. What is r here? Radius is your 1.4 meter and h is equal to 7 meter. So it is very easy. So 2, 22 by 7 into radius is equal to 1.4 into height is 7. You can cancel 7, 7. Just you multiply now. It will be 44 multiplies 1.4. How much it will be? Your 14 4 times 6 5 14 4 times. Find the letter set of two pillars. Okay. I, I'll first find out this one, then I'll multiply with 2. Or directly I can multiply with 2 also. So 61.6 and two pillars will be how much multiplied by two. So two multiply 61.6. So you will get six, two, six times 12 carries one, three, 12, 123 meters square. So one, two, three meters square. This will be two is the answer. Because this won't be answer. So sometimes you can, suppose you are not getting time, you may guess it. This centimeter square, centimeter square, you can, can discard. You can find only, you can, if you are guessing sometimes, you can guess out of this two. Now coming to part D. 
part d says how much is the volume of a hemisphere how much is the volume of a hemisphere of radius of the base is 3.5 volume of the hemisphere volume of hemisphere volume of hemisphere is formula 2 by 3 pi r cube so this will be 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 multiplies your r is equal to 3.5 so 3.5 multiplies 3.5 multiplies 3.5 so first i'll cancel 7 with 0.5 Then what I'll do? I'll multiply two with zero point five. It will give me one. Then twenty two. Next I'll multiply three point five into three point five. It will be twelve point five. Twelve point two five. You will multiply. You will get twelve point two five. Next you multiply your two by three pi r cube. So there is three here. We have not cancelled till yet. So if we we'll cancel twelve point two by five with three, let me divide it. Three, you are getting four, twelve point zero twenty four. Then you are eight twenty four one zero. It will be how much? It will be three. So if we we'll cancel, you are getting four point Zero eight three. Now multiply twenty two multiplies four point zero eight three. So how much you'll get? You'll get your. Let me multiply by twenty two multiplies three sixty six carry six. Four point zero eight three multiplying twenty two two three six two eight sixteen carry one two four eight. Again, six six one eight. So it will be six two eight nine eight. Eighty nine point eight two six. Eighty nine point eight two six meter cube. What is the answer? Answer is eighty nine point eight. So this is close to it. So you'll mark this is the answer. Fourth is the answer of this. We are getting. Point eight two six. So if we we'll round off, it will be ninety nine point eight three. So fourth part is the answer. Now coming to last part. Last part says, what is the ratio of sum of volume of two hemisphere? Sum of volume of two hemisphere upon volume of a sphere. Here radius is your one one. And here radius is your two. What is the ratio of it? This two will be added. So volume of hemisphere is two by three pi. Radius is one one cube. And there are two such so into two upon ratio of your volume of sphere of radius two. So four by three. It is sphere. I'm writing here volume of hemisphere. Is equal to your two by three pi r cube, and volume of sphere is equal to two by four by three pi r cube. Here there are two hemisphere. Radius is one. Here is one sphere. Radius is two. So pi into two cube. So we have to simplify. So I can write two to four with four, three with three, pi with pi. So one cube is one, two cube is eight. So what is the ratio? One is to eight. So one is to eight. What is? So two is the answer. Two part is the answer. For four e, tenth is two is the answer. So we got for a, we got second part. Second is the answer. For b, first is the answer. For c, we get one twenty three point two. And for fourth, we got eighty nine point eight three, and last one we got this two is the answer. So thank you for watching. So we'll continue with case study. So keep on watching, and 
please subscribe the channel if you have not yet.